Hi. If you're watching this video, I suspect you've either already enrolled in Chem 2070 this fall or are thinking about doing so. May I begin then by welcoming you to the class. I'm Stephen Lee, and I'll be teaching the course together with Professor Nozomi Ando and Dr. Cynthia Kinsland. We'll be supported in the lecture side of the course by a large group of very talented and very dedicated undergraduate TAs. In this video, I'd like to tell you about the rough structure of the class. When I think about a big science course, university science course, and Chem 2070 is certainly one of them, uh, I think about the lectures. And there are two lectures a week. So you'll come in two lectures week one, two lectures week two, and after around five weeks, uh, you'll get a, an exam to assess how well things are progressing for you. But the lectures are just the beginning. You as a student are just beginning your arc of becoming a professional scientist or doctor, and this course is about making that transition as smooth as possible. We have uploaded online computer modules, half an hour of work before each lecture, which you will then do and so that when you attend the lectures, you can absorb the material as quickly and as fully as possible. And then you'll spend half an hour after the, the lecture just reviewing what you've learned so that you retain the knowledge. The next part of the course, as we make the transition, make it as smooth as possible for you, is where we get to problem solving. And the first part of problem solving are the flip class, the discussion sections, where you'll come in for 50 minutes and work on, on whiteboards with another student with undergraduate TAs monitoring and helping you as you progress. We now come to what I actually think is, is the main part of the course, and which uh, I've called the big choice. And uh, before I get into what the big choice is, which is for the remaining three days. Uh, I'm about to show you some data, and uh, this is the, the, the grade distribution of students who took Chem 2070 last fall. And, and, and the distribution is quite large, from the very high scores to, to scores which, which, which are quite low. And when I was a student, I looked at these grade distributions, and I saw them very statically. I would see my score, and I would compare it to the scores to the other students in the class. But I would like you to see it dynamically. It's an arc. Um, I, I speak for myself. Uh, when I started in, in, in science courses in, in high school and early college, I, I really wasn't doing very well. I scored, I got C's, I got some C's and D's. And I started off at the left side of that arc. And as time progressed, as I moved on to college, I moved to the right and I became stronger and stronger. This is a dynamic process. I'd like you to think of yourself. Uh, you're getting difficult tests that'll assess how you're doing and that you're making a journey from the left side of the curve to the right side of the curve as you become a professional scientist and doctor. Okay, so that's the background and let's get to the actual big choice itself, which is what you do in the last three days from Saturday to Monday. And that's the peer led exam prep where you're going to be solving questions uh, and you have a choice of doing those problems on your own or coming in for two hours and working on a whiteboard. It's totally optional whether you come in uh, with TAs uh, and, and, and I'll be there too, monitoring your progress and, 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 talking, and, and talking to you about how things are going and you'll be working with another student. And it's a big choice. So uh, for example, in uh, last year, the students, and we asked students to come in 75 to 80 percent of the time, and students who did so, uh, they scored uh, what, as shown in green, while students who didn't, uh, didn't come in and work with us and did the problems on their own uh, scored uh, in the blue region. And the same thing is true for other years. Here's the same uh, numbers for 2019. Uh, those who came in regularly in green and those who didn't uh, in blue. I think of it like, you'll be like joining one of two teams. You can think of the blue uh, team right there, you can think of them as, as the Angels, and you can think of the, the green team as, as the Dodgers. And you'll be picking the team which fits most comfortably to, to your own needs. You, you know yourself 
better than anyone. Dr. Ando, Dr. Kinsland, the TAs and I, uh, we're the coaches, and we're the coaches for both teams, and we're going to do the very best we can for you. But you should know that as a team, you're going to post a different record. Uh, so if we were if you were to join what I, I guess I call them the the, the the Dodgers, the students who come regularly to peer led, uh, the, the, this is the the way uh, the, the kind of numbers that as a team uh, uh, that that team posts, and uh, the, the other team uh, posts numbers like these. So choose your team wisely. And there's another video which will explain to you how to go about making this choice, uh, which is in, will be in the link right after this one. Whatever you choose, uh, I speak for Dr. Kin uh, Kinsland, Dr. Ando, and for the undergraduate TAs. We are going to do our very best at teaching you and making your transition uh, to the to the to the to the uh, to our, our fellowship of scientists and doctors as smooth as possible. Uh, I look forward to seeing you. Uh, bye.